So in this video, we'll talk about the three verbs which have the similar spelling. So most students, they get confused with the spellings and also with the meaning. The two words have quite similar meaning. Let's have a look at it one by one. So the first word is Veda. The word is Veda. And the meaning of Veda is neither. Veda is actually the connector. It is part of the connector Veda now. Okay, it's a connector. And the meaning is neither nor. The Zumbai spear, that is for example, if you want to say, he can neither dance nor sing. Er kann Veda tanzen, nor singen. He can neither dance nor sing. Er kann Veda tanzen, nor singen. You know, one more word that is similar to this is Veda. Okay, this is Veda. So the spelling and the pronunciation is a bit similar. Veda. Veda is the adverb. And the meaning is again. So when something is happening again, we use the word Veda. For example, do you want the water again? Willst du das Wasser wieder? Willst du das Wasser wieder? Now one more word which is similar to this one is wieder. So this one is the preposition and also is the accusative preposition. So in German, we say accusative preposition. And the meaning for this is against. Meaning for this is against. So don't get confused this word with another word that is gegen. Gegen also means against, but we use Vida when we are talking about the wishes, opinions, or expectation related conversation. Now, here, for example, Manner Arbeiten Vida di Nato. Manner Arbeiten Vida di Nato, that is, men are working against the nature. So the three words are Veda, Vida, Vida. Veda is the connector with the knock, Veda knock. Vida is the adverb and Vida is the accusative preposition. And the examples we have here is Er kann Vida tanzen, knock singen. Willst du das Wasser Vida? Meine Arbeiten Vida die Natur. Hope this was helpful. Thank you. Bye.